So you're never gonna believe this. I hear about this guy out in South Carolina and they're ruining his Christmas too. Tell him he's gotta take down his Christmas lights. So guess what? I'm probably gonna have to sue another HOA. They just love it. They come home from work, the people they get to show their kids, they're taking their grandkids over from different communities. It's just something special. A little bit of Clark Griswold style ingenuity here at the Dwyer home. Douglas Dwyer tells me after the pandemic, he just wanted to bring a little bit of cheer to his neighbors. It came together like a, a Tetris puzzle, so to speak, you know, one piece at a time. And um, it just turned out to be magical. But something is raining on his parade. And I teared up about it when I got that email because this really meant a lot to me this year. And it meant a lot to everybody else. Tuesday, his HOA's property management company, Old Colony Realty, reached out, asking Dwyer to remove the flag tape to the outside of the building, all the lights on the outside of the building, and the decorations in the common area. This is just insane. I mean, <laughs> they're going to charge me to take that Christmas lights? It's not quite clear what led up to the enforcement of what they say is well within the rights of the master deed and bylaws. But certainly neighbors I talked with don't agree that these decorations fit the bill for a violation. I just don't think this is an issue. I really don't. It picks up your spirit. It is, after all, Christmas time. And with a deadline of tomorrow to take this decor down, all this on Dwyer's mind is... The miracle of Christmas should be something different than this. And I spoke with a property management company today who told me they're just doing their job. I did also ask a follow up question to say some of the neighbors also have some Christmas decorations. So are they in violation as well? But I did not receive a response to that question. For now, it seems like tonight may be one of the last few nights of the community can come out and enjoy the festivities here. Reporting live in Horry County, Madison Martin, WMBF News. A couple of days ago, I received an email from the management company that is run by our HOA. It brought me to tears. Um, this year, I just wanted to bring joy to the neighborhood, to the community, to the family and friends that come and visit. Um, it just, it was a feeling I had that I needed to do. Um, and they told me they were going to tear it down at my own expense. All my Christmas lights, all my Christmas cheer, all the joy that I brought to everyone. But then WMBF News came in, sweeped in and did a huge broadcast, which brought me a Christmas miracle. Jeremy Morris, out of Idaho, an attorney, they call him the Christmas lawyer, the attack dog, the patriot, the hero, the man that takes injustice and goes after HOAs if they ever do wrong to people, especially during the Christmas season. It's time we stand up for our rights, America. God bless you and God bless the United States of America. So, Doug, uh, I just got your information. I saw you on the news. I see that uh, there's an HOA that's trying to force you to take down your lights. Tell me what's going on. Well, two days ago, I got an email that brought me to tears. I, I simply wanted to celebrate Christmas and put up lights to make people, you know, smile and feel joy and, and feel that gift of Christmas. And an HOA is coming in and threatening to take it all down and charge me for it. Doug, I really appreciate you. I appreciate what you have done to spread the joy of Christmas. I saw your story. I saw how, how you just want to bring joy to people after there's been, you know, disease and there's been people that have died in, in uh, you know, with the, the virus going around and lockdowns and people not getting to see each other. And, and just as things are opening up, you're just trying to spread some joy and a group of people try and take that away. And, and, and what I want to give to you, Doug, I want to give to you the knowledge and the confidence that we will not let them succeed in stopping Christmas. And, you know, it's also the celebration of Jesus Christ. I mean, it's the birth of Jesus Christ. And so I'm, not only is it the, the gift giving and the food, it's about the birth of our Savior. It's, it all boils down to an attack on faith and I think I think if you really stop and think about it that's all it is it's not about Christmas lights Christmas lights is a way that we celebrate Christmas it's a way that we 
remember bringing light into the darkness and, and shining your light before men, just saying, you know, I'm so excited for Christmas, uh, you know, because the birth of Jesus, Jesus Christ, a reminder that Jesus Christ was born, came to this earth, died on a cross for our sins. It's a very important thing for Christians. The fact is we celebrate Christmas in a lot of different ways that are a tradition. And the point is they want to stop that. Not only the tradition of the birth of Jesus Christ that's important to be celebrated, but we should be celebrating the First Amendment, which is an absolute freedom that we should never neglect. Yeah. Because the freedom of expression and the freedom of speech is an absolute. That's why they made it the First Amendment. Doug, I, I appreciate you. I thank you for all you're doing. You're exactly right. Christmas is really it's just all about the birth of Jesus Christ. And that is why... Uh, you know, HOAs, city governments, people all across the country, uh, a minority, a very small minority, but a very vocal one, are trying to steal Christmas because they know it's not really just about Christmas lights. It's about stopping the faith and the traditions of Americans. People to celebrate the birth of Christ. We're not going to let them do it. That homeowners association is about to pay if they even think of touching a light bulb on your house. Yeah, um, they haven't come by yet, but yesterday was the deadline. So you came right on right on time to save the day, and I'm just sitting here finally smiling after being in tears for the last couple of days. <laughs> out of nowhere, a miracle Christmas came. You're a patriot, you're a hero, and you're a friend. And God bless you for taking my um, case. It's just a it's a it's a wonderful miracle of Christmas. I, I so appreciate what you're doing, and I hope America appreciates what you're doing because it's, you're protecting the rights of every American and it, every American's right to, to to celebrate their freedoms of religion and at the same time celebrate Christmas. God bless you. Doug, thank you. <laughs> Those HOAs just keep getting in trouble. I like actually the story of the Christmas carol with Scrooge because in the end, he found the joy of Christmas. And so there is hope, because even in the darkest heart, we can still hope that someone will find that little spark of joy and understand what Christmas is all about. That's about all I have for you today from The Christmas Lawyer. And Doug, we're looking out for you. You don't take down a single light bulb. I've got your back. Don't forget to like and subscribe to The Christmas Lawyer.